Bombay felt much much safer than yeah. Delhi for obvious reasons yeah. and also definitely extremely expensive i remember uh, not buying fruits or dry fruits because i mean like i didn't want to ask my parents for yeah. money i was the only one without a job so it used to like really take, take a toll on me especially if i'm shooting for a character which requires me to be very emotionally like yeah. out there i uh, I make sure that I'm taking regular therapies. I'm with actress Sanya Malhotra. Hi, Sanya. Welcome to the Quint. Hi, Swati. Thank Hi. you so much for having me. Um, it's a pleasure for me to have you here over coffee. And today we're going to talk all about Sanya from your first audition mm -hmm. to what can we expect from your next and mm -hmm. everything in between. Are we ready? Love talking about <laughs> myself. <laughs> That's not true, though. But yeah. So let's start from the beginning. Do you mm -hmm. remember your first audition? I actually do remember my first audition, which was not for a film, but for an ad. They usually make you, you know, um, write things about yourself yeah, on a board. Yeah, yeah. And I did that and, and I didn't know what coordinator means. So I asked the guy, what is this? And he said, Mera naam likh do. And then I didn't know, I got the ad, not as the main lead, but one of the girls uh, with the main lead. And that guy took 60% of what I was getting, which was, I think I got... 5,000, 6,000 and he took 60% of it and I was yeah. really sad. Like my first job was he took my money. You are from Delhi. When you came into Bombay, you mm. came in with the hope of becoming an actress and you have succeeded. Mm. But when you came in here, did you have like a backup plan in case this didn't work out? There was a backup plan or my plan B was to become a choreographer. We've been seeing your videos, dance videos. Yeah. And for the world, it was my plan A actually. I didn't know how to explain it to people back yeah. in Delhi that I want to become an actor. Actually, not me. My mother couldn't. <laughs> like, it was very tough for her to explain her friends that my daughter wants to become an actor. Right. So, she told all her friends that she has gone for uh, dancing. Huh. She's, she's there to become a choreographer, assisting a choreographer. To be honest, aunties, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I was not working with any of the choreographers <laughs> in, in Bombay. I was at home waiting for a call back. <laughs> uh, or somebody to call me for an audition. But I'm sure yes, sir, yeah. auntie, are very happy because they know you yeah, also. So they're like actress one <laughs> Yeah. So how different, different was it for you when you came from Delhi to Mumbai? Did you find the city more expensive? Um, did you think it was safer than where you were before? Uh, Bombay felt much, much safer than Delhi yeah. for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, it's been, I think, seven, I don't know how many years now in Bombay, but I still feel the same and also definitely extremely expensive. I remember uh, not buying fruits or dry fruits because I didn't like I didn't want to ask my parents for yeah. money. Uh, I was being all khudgarski. I will handle it on my own and I would not ask my father to like transfer money. And I used to live with uh, six other roommates of mine and we all were quite like chindi, <laughs> except one, <laughs> Jia wasn't chindi at all. <laughs> she used to get stuff for us and we used to share. <laughs> but yeah, it was definitely very, very expensive. As you're narrating this story, like you live with so many other women, um, it just reminds me of my college days when I lived back in Pune, you know. Yeah. So I think that experience is something that also, I think, really brings a lot to us as in character, it right? Does. So what did you take away from all of that experience? Uh, first, I think I've found uh, really deep friendship yeah. like a circle that I can go to anytime yeah. Yeah. and uh, also I realized how much I love cleaning when I was living with the uh, flatmates um, I was constantly worried about them yeah. you know doing things on the bed oh my god why is she keeping her back there oh no I just I just cleaned the bathroom, <laughs> it's dirty again. So, and I love cleaning. I think also because I was keep, trying to keep myself busy. Cleaning felt like therapy to you. Yeah, those times. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Even the, I actually do it whenever I have a mental breakdown or whenever I'm feeling re like really low. Yeah. I think deep cleaning is something <laughs> that I rely on. Like, I need to clear my thing, I need to clear my space. So you spoke about the struggles that you had when you came to Mumbai, right? Uh, what advice would you like to give the others who are hmm. taking this journey now? Maybe plan it better and plan it beforehand. Uh, mine was 
very impromptu, you know, thought that I would make it in a few months, which really I did, to be right. honest. I had not planned it financially right. really well for myself. Yeah. And uh, don't lose hope because the city can get a little too much. Um, and it did for me too because all my other roommates and flatmates were working and I was the only one without a job. So it used to like really take, take a toll on me right. mentally that maybe what sh should I just go back? Okay, now that we've covered your first audition, the journey, now we're going to move on to your first day on a film set. Hmm. Tell us about that. That was for Dangal. Yeah. Uh, my first day and the first scene, I vividly remember. It was a very small one. I had to um, say no to a Golgappa wala. <laughs> <laughs> scene in which Babita Haan. was like, I don't want to eat. Just that reaction. Oh my God. <laughs> it was very tough. How many takes did you do? I took, I gave like five, ten takes and not not because it's a performance performance uh, but there are other technical things yeah. that goes uh, into, you know, filmmaking. Yeah. But it felt very personal <laughs> to me. <laughs> it was like ten takes, maybe I'm not doing something right. Yeah. And I kept asking my sir, theek hai, theek hai, theek hai. Uh -huh. I was really scared. I remember coming back to Fatima and telling her, it was not a good first day. I don't know how will I do it. I was really like scared and yeah. I, I thought that maybe I don't know how to act. You know, when you and Fatima were working together in those times, there were a lot of comparisons between the two of you. Mm -hmm. You know, is that something that bothered you? Because you were also friends. Not at all. I yeah. think they have all moved on. Um, I really admire her. Yeah. She inspires me with her work, motivates me. So we never felt that, yeah. you know, there was no competition or comparison yeah. which we were drawing uh, ourselves. Other people talk, they really like to talk about how women work in this industry yeah. and things 100% are changing. If you talk about Love Hostel, mm -hmm. uh, I remember you saying something that it is one of the few characters that kind of was very overwhelming for you. It yeah. also emotionally drained you a lot, right? Yeah, a lot of yeah. characters do actually yeah. emotionally drain me out. <laughs> Yeah. Are you somebody who takes these characters home with you? Sometimes I do. Okay. Um, I'm also slowly learning how to have that healthy boundary with the characters that I play. But sometimes I really like to step into my characters' shoes and start living their life. Yeah. That happened with the Paglet. Yeah. And that also happened with Love Hostel because that is a situation that I've never experienced in my life. So, but is it something that affects you when you're off camera? It does. Okay. It does. And I think I have really nice friends and family. <laughs> so nice. Who get it. So, and I think I am also becoming, slowly, slowly, I'm also becoming very aware of how my characters uh, work with my psyche. Right. And... Uh, um, Thank God I have a therapist now, so I, I regularly, especially if I'm shooting for a character which requires me to be very emotionally like yeah. out there, I, uh, I make sure that I'm taking regular therapies to keep a check on how my mental health is doing. If you're going to talk a little bit about the lockdown, okay? I saw on your Instagram, you it's me achi reels made We have to talk about them, please. Yeah. Tell me more about them, like what got you to make them? I think I was really missing camera. <laughs> I was really missing playing in front of camera. And I met with a very, not, it was not a small uh, accident. I met with an accident where I chopped off my finger in a blender. Oh no, this one. They had to reconstruct it. It's fully fine now. It's a little uh, teda, okay. but uh, it's cute. I, I like it. Can't so after though. that, I was living alone in Mumbai. After that, a friend came home to take care of me, Harshita. And just to like get myself all okay mentally, I think. And we used to do it like she was my ex-flatmate. Just to keep ourselves entertained, we started making these random reels. And really worked for people too. Then I realized that maybe I am funny. Maybe <laughs> there, there is an audience for my sense of humor. So now we're going to do this really quick question answer thing. It's called, let's get to know Sanya. Okay. Okay. Something that you never leave your house without. It can't be your phone. Anything apart from a phone. I actually leave my phone at home. One second. Sanya Malhotra leaves her phone at home. I prefer it that way. So how do people connect with you? 
इट्स ओके पीपल कैन वेट और कसम से कोई मैसेज नहीं आता ना कोई कॉल आता है मतलब कि आप धन्य हो आफ्टर 12 आवर्स आई एम आई एम लाइक आज से मुझे बहुत लोगों ने याद किया होगा कोई याद नहीं करता वन थिंग दैट आई कैन नॉट लीव विदाउट इज अ वाटर बॉटल अ पर्सन यू स्पीक टू एवरी डे पापा व्हाट आर यू अफ्रेड ऑफ आई एम अफ्रेड ऑफ चिपकली ओके डू यू स्पीक एनी अदर लैंग्वेज अपार्ट फ्रॉम इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी नहीं व्हाट स्पोर्ट्स डू यू लाइक वाचिंग No sport. We can say that. No, no sport. Okay. Uh, so, what do you like watching when you have the free time? YouTube. What do you like? What are you watching on YouTube? हमको भी बताओ. Some please. weird vlogs or songs or music videos. Uh, what does Sanya's perfect day look like? Oh, my perfect day is me getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning, getting ready, going to the gym, coming back, meditating. <laughs> for a bit that's what i do every day <laughs> i have a perfect day every day to be honest you're an inspiration what is this i had no idea about all this is it beach or mountain beach dancing or working out dancing cats or dog both tea or coffee coffee interview or viva viva to bilkul nahi sach mein i was just beating to get out of college कंप्लीट माय ग्रेजुएशन और फिर मैंने कभी पीछे मुड़ के नहीं देखा कि अब मैं से वाइवा नहीं होंगे बट इंटरव्यूज आल्सो समटाइम्स फील्स लाइक अ वाइवा नॉट दिस वन नॉट दिस वन हां नॉट दिस वन हां थैंक यू सो मच सानिया इट वाज सच अ प्लेजर टॉकिंग टू यू एंड गुड लक फॉर व्हाट्स कमिंग नेक्स्ट थैंक्स अ लॉट सर